Hey, Biz Bees. Today, we are back with another book. And the title of our book is The Magic School Bus Inside the Earth by Joanna Cole, illustrated by Bruce Deegan. And this is a scholastic book. So let's pop open the book and fly through this adventure together. The Magic School Bus Inside the Earth. To Michael Stone, J.C., to Mickey and Hank, who have rocks in their heads, B, D. In Miss Frizzle's class, we had been learning about animals' homes for almost a month. We were pretty tired of it, so everyone was happy when Miss Frizzle announced, Today we start something new. We are going to study about our Earth, said Miss Frizzle. She put us to work writing reports about Earth science. And for homework, she said, each person must find a rock and bring it to school. But the next day, almost everyone had some excuse. Only four people had done the homework and Phil was the only one who had found a real rock. I guess we'll have to go on a field trip and collect rocks, said Miss Frizzle. You never know what will happen on a trip with Miss Frizzle. Her new dress was a trip in itself. At first, the old school bus wouldn't start, but finally we were on our way. When we came to the field, all the kids wanted to get out of the bus. But suddenly, the bus began to spin like a top. That sort of thing doesn't happen on most class trips. When the spinning finally stopped, some things had changed. We all had on new clothes. The bus had turned into a steam shovel and there were shovels and picks for every kid in the class. Start digging, yelled Miss Frizzle, and we began making a huge hole right in the middle of the field. Before long, clunk, we hit rock. The Frizz handed out jackhammers. We began to break through the hard rock. Hey, these rocks have stripes, said a kid. Miss Frizzle explained that each stripe was a different kind of rock. We chipped off pieces of the rocks for our class rock collection. These rocks are called sedimentary rocks, class, said Miss Frizzle. There are often fossils in sedimentary rocks. Wouldn't you know it, just when we were finding lots of fossils, Miss Frizzle said, back on the bus, kids. Then, as we were driving along, we heard rock crumbling underneath us. Down we went. Everything was pitch black, and we were falling, falling, falling. Uh-oh. We landed with a bump. Miss Frizzle switched on the headlights. We had fallen through a hole into a huge limestone cave. Rainwater has been dripping down through the earth for ages, said Miss Frizzle. The water wore away this cave in the rock. We wanted to stay for a while, but suddenly the bus sprouted a drill. It started boring through the rock. Frizzy shouted, follow that bus, and down we went. The farther down we went, the hotter it got. The rocks were harder too. These are rocks that were changed from one kind to another kind by heat and pressure, explained the frizz. Rocks that were changed are called metamorphic rocks.
We went down even farther toward the center of the earth. We hit rock that was formed billions of years ago from a pool of melted rock under the earth's surface. Rock like this is called igneous rock. We had dug all the way through the earth's crust. It was so hot now that Miss Frizzle told us to get back in the bus. Everybody's sweating. She stepped on the gas and the bus started really drilling. Soon we were actually inside the earth. It was hot, hot, hot. And it got hotter and hotter as we zoomed toward the center. We were glad when Miss Frizzle headed out again. We reached the earth's crust and drove straight up through a tunnel of black rock. It was great to see the sky. Then we looked around. We had come out on an island in the middle of the ocean. Isn't this wonderful, class, said Frizzy. We've driven right up on a volcanic island. It didn't look like much, but if Miss Frizzle was right, the whole island was one big volcano. We were nervous, but Miss Frizzle made us collect some rocks. She said they had all hardened from melted rock that had come out of the volcano. Then. Suddenly, we heard rumblings from below. We scrambled into the bus. The frizz turned the ignition key and stepped on the gas. Nothing happened. The bus would not start. We thought we were goners. Red hot lava came streaming out of the volcano. Some of it shot into the air like a fountain. Some of it flowed over the land like a river. Our bus went along with it, right into the sea. Hiss, hiss. When the red hot lava hit the water, it made a huge cloud of steam. All we could see was white. We seemed to be rising with the steam and floating along. No one knows how long we floated in the cloud. But when it finally cleared, we were back in the school parking lot. What a quick trip back, right? It had been a weird trip, but we did get a great rock collection for our classroom. And here's their collection. And here is a word with the author and the artist, if you'd like to read. And that is the end of our book. Oh, I love that. And this is a how to say the new earth science words. That's really cute. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.